Uh, Kyra, I just want to ask you about what that feeling was like walking out in the stadium in Sydney uh, last week against Ireland, full house. I mean, a lot been talked about the magnitude of the game, but what was actually that feeling like when you first walked down that tunnel? Um, yeah, it was an amazing feeling walking out in front of 75,000 people, a home crowd. Um, that's a moment all of us will never forget. Um, and when I looked up at the top of the stadium, it just kept going and I said to Ellie, wow, just look at that. Um, yeah, it was an amazing feeling and I'll never forget it. How did you deal with the nerves? Was, was, were there a lot of nerves leading out onto that? Cause, I mean, for me as a player, I was like, once I did my warm up, I was okay, but then you go back in the change room and just before you go down that tunnel, it starts to really hit you? Yeah, I think singing the national anthem really hit me and a lot of the other girls. Um, I was getting a bit emotional um, looking around and singing the national anthem. The Island game itself, um, what was your overall thought on the performance? Result, obviously, most important thing, but the performance yeah. of the team? Yeah, obviously, we got the win um, at our first game of the World Cup, so there was a lot of nerves, um, mixed feelings leading into that game, but I think, yeah, at the end, we got the win, um, and yeah, it probably wasn't our best game, but we'll go into the next game, hopefully, doing better. I feel like there's a lot of room for improvement in terms of performance moving forward? Yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. Well, there's always room for improvement. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, we've got to, got to win um, and we'll be better next game. Uh, obviously, Sam was missing. She's injured. How is she getting on and how big a loss was she for that game? Yeah, Sam, missing Sam Kerr is a big loss. Uh, she's Sam Kerr. Um, but we just had to focus on us and the team. Um, and Sam as a captain, she said to us, like, don't focus on her, just focus on going out um, and playing, the, playing Ireland and winning the game. What's it like playing alongside Katrina Gorey? So she's obviously very experienced yeah. and you guys are obviously forming a really good relationship, partnership on field. How important is that and how, easy, how much easier it has it been for you playing alongside such an experienced player? Yeah, ever since Minnie came in, it's been, I think for me personally, the best thing that's ever happened to me. Um, coming into this team. Um, I was really low on confidence for two years and then she ca just came in and took me under her wing and helped me so much and I'm so grateful and yeah playing um, against Minnie she's an amazing player and it's got so much experience and I just want to learn, learn from her. Is it more about observing and watching her at training or that, do you actually have conversations about the position? Does she give you little pointers along the way? Yeah she's always helping me we always talk to each other but we also have um, video analysis after trainings, after games together um, with Jens, the assistant coach, and you know, just watching those little clips, seeing what she's doing, um, I'm always learning off her. Nigeria's a next opponent, which is a, a different opponent to what you played, you know, how you played against uh, Ireland. What sort of challenges do you think they'll pose? Um, yeah, we watched some clips today in Nigeria very fast. They've got a few good players, um, and obviously they did really well against Canada to just get a draw and get, get a point. Um, but yeah, we just need to keep the ball, um, work hard because yeah, Nigeria will probably counter um, pretty quickly because they've got a lot of fast players. Has there been a lot of discussions in camp about this next game, about getting another three points? Trying to, is it the target to finish top of the group? Has that been even spoken about? No, we haven't been talking about that. We've just been going one game at a time um, and obviously we would like to win each game, but yeah, just going one game at a time. You're a Queenslander? Uh, you're going to have family at the game, of course? Yes. Family and friends? Yep. Um, how many tickets have you got? How many, how many people are coming? Uh, I think 16 or a bit more, actually. <laughs> Close to 20, maybe. Yeah. And have you felt the overwhelming support since not only just being in Australia, but particularly being in your, in your, home, your hometown city? Uh, yeah, I've not, I'm a bit of a mix between a Victorian and Queensland. Yep. I'm not too sure what to say but yeah having the support just everywhere in Sydney, Melbourne and Queensland has been amazing. Has that for you been the biggest surprise of this tournament or was there an expectation that you you felt that the country would get behind it? I mean it was like when it was announced what three years ago obviously it was huge but the long, you know the, the closer you get it's then the realisation right we saw the crowd of your, your previous two games. Yeah the I think all the games even not us like France and um, whoever they played uh, last night, they had a big crowd as well. Um, I think the Australian fans, they're loving it, so um, it's just been amazing. For you growing up, it wasn't that long ago that you were that, that young girl. You're still young, yeah. a young woman now, but I mean, in terms of looking up, looking at the stars in the, in the Matilda's side, 
Do you, do you feel that's also come a long way since you first started? Yeah, there was not much um, when you watch the Matildas. Uh, they weren't getting much fans and even in the A-League you don't get much. Um, and being at the Home World Cup and seeing everyone, it's just a good feeling. Um, it, to be honest, it probably wasn't expected, but it's just amazing to see everyone's coming out to support us. And finally, do you feel that um, that was ever going to be a chance that you'd be able to play football as a woman in football as a professional? Something that when you first started off probably wasn't really on the cards, was it? Uh, I think when I was growing, as I was growing up, the Matildas were coming a bit bigger. Um, and it is amazing to see that every year that the Matildas get bigger and women's football is growing. Um, and we're just hoping to see young girls watching us and wanting to be like that, like us. And hopefully as they get older, it'll just be a lot better as well. And last question for you, <laughs> what's your goal at this tournament personally? Um, yeah, I just really want to play well um, and express myself. Um, I haven't really put a set goal yet, um, but hopefully to keep being a starter and yeah, just show, show myself. Wish you all the very best. Thank, Thank you. you. Did you enjoy that? There's so much more, so why not hit subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.